Well, hello, Sam Owens here again with a product review. The um, FCC came out a long time ago and uh, stated that we should all be able to receive free over the air TV signals of our major broadcast networks. Well, this is a product that I'm gonna introduce to you that will turn your computer into a uh, TV that will be able to receive over the air broadcast TV signals and station programming in your area. Uh, I found it very neat and I like it. You can also record programs uh, easily uh, with this device. It's small, compact, and uh, it, it, I have had it uh, for quite some time now and have thoroughly enjoyed uh, its performance. Uh, so I recommend it highly. And I'm gonna, this video is going to introduce you to a little bit about it. Hapage, H-A-U-P-P-A-U-G-E, and it's a Win TV dual HD, dual USB, 2.0 HD TV, TV tuner for Windows PCs. That's a mouthful, I know. But uh, this little device uh, is really going to perform for you. And uh, there's too many features to tell you all the details, but I'm gonna go over a few of them. And I'm gonna show you some screenshots. Okay, we're uh, watching a screenshot of what I'm seeing on my computer right now to give you some of the features and operating parameters of uh, this uh, Win TV Dual HD Dual USB 2.0 HD TV tuner, as you see in the title. Okay, one of the things you can do is watch uh, all of the local broadcast uh, in your area, TV broadcast. They're totally free. You don't have to pay any fees for that. This is called over-the-air broadcast TV. And uh, you can also record a, um, a program and uh, watch a program. So while you've got two channels on this uh, unit, and uh, so that's a great feature uh, that uh, will allow you to have a lot of flexibility. And rec uh, recording programs uh, you can watch later. Um, you can even program it for a certain time. And you have a TV guide. And I'm going to show you some of these features on the screenshot that you're seeing. So you won't see me in the show. Okay, now I'm going to get away from this and go back uh, to something else here. One of the things when you receive this is you're going to be instructed to download the Win TV V10 application for Windows. Uh, this is like an app, and it's uh, going to be an icon uh, or shortcut on your desktop. And uh, it'll be called Win TV V10. So uh, there's some instructions on how to download it, and uh, everything is pretty easy to follow. So it's not that hard. On my desktop, if you'll look up, I've downloaded the Win TV V10 app. And uh, it's in the upper portion of the screen. So when I click on this uh, app, it will turn the tuner on and look for channels. There's some setup that has to be done uh, for your area. And the setup is uh, explained in the user manual that will uh, uh, be online. And also, one of the things you're going to receive uh, with this product is an antenna. This is not the antenna. It's a single antenna with a little base. Uh, I don't have it with me right now. But any antenna that you can connect to the screw-on terminal, 
like I have one right here. It would screw on right at this location, right there. And you could maneuver this around and get some uh, of your local stations in your area, depending on how far you are away from the antenna. Another alternative is to install an outdoor antenna above your house and direct it to the antenna field for your community and you'll get much better reception. Uh, this is, uh, will give you some of the strongest stations, but it won't give you all of them. So uh, you would plug your antenna, your outdoor antenna, and screw it into this terminal and you have a USB port which is going to go uh, into a USB uh, vacant port on your computer and I'm going to do this with my outdoor antenna okay this is my um, cable that goes out to the antenna that's mounted uh, probably uh, 20 feet above the house Okay, uh, I'm going to open the WinTV V10 app uh, on my uh, desktop. It's a shortcut to the application, and we will see the tu TV tuner um, viewer uh, that we will watch our programs on. It comes up small. You can adjust this to anything you want. Uh, here it is, and up at the top, you'll notice it says 5.1 uh, WUFT. That's our uh, PBS channel. Now, I can operate uh, the player by going uh, with this up arrow. I can go to the next channel which is 5.2. I can show you over here with this uh, settings. We can go over to the settings and you can see all channels right here. There's several general capture devices, but all channels will show you what channels uh, are available for broadcast reception. And all these check marks uh, you right can check the ones that you want Isn't to watch. Great? Some so channels you may really not really even candy. want to view, and you can exclude them and only have the mm -hmm. channels you wow. want. And, and you see it goes right down the list, and I go all the way up to 51.4. Uh, it's called Decades. And uh, I can watch any one of those, and uh, so I say, okay. And now we have a TV guide right here is called EPG and when I click on that it shows the guide and it uh, updates constantly um, uh, you actually can program when you want to update the TV guide or you can update at any particular moment by hitting this button now, uh, let me just go through and select another channel. I can go through and look. Um, this is the, this dotted line. This is the area that is broadcasting. This part over here is in the future. So if I click on that, I'm not going to see those channels. Gunsmoke is on 20.3, MeTV. Let me click on that and I can go to that one. I have options like I can record that if I wanted uh, from this point on. It's not going to capture the beginning. Uh, screen record. I could record what's on the screen. Watch. I can just go ahead and click watch. And it's going to 20.3 and this is Gunsmoke. It's on an ad right now. If I want to watch this in full screen, I just double click and there we're on double uh, we're on full screen and you can see it's great reception. 
uh, you either get a, a, a good signal or you don't get any signal at all. Uh, not, this is unlike the old days of snow and fuzzy uh, uh, reception. Uh, it's either you get it or you don't get it. And uh, as you go through the setup, uh, the uh, tuner will look at all the signals available and give you access to those channels as you saw in my list. Okay, uh, if I want to go uh, back to another channel, I just simply move my cursor down and I can go up to the next channel and I can go back to the TV guide and I'm going to demonstrate uh, recording a program. Let's go and see if, uh, if I want to record a uh, program in the future. Let's say the Rifleman. Uh, I like the Rifleman and uh, we will see how easy it is to record. It, it's not like the old days. So I click on the Rifleman, it will be broadcast on 20.3 MeTV at 4 p.m. to 4.30. I'm going to click on that. Over here, I hit the record, and the channel will be recorded for that period of time, and uh, it's all set up. The Okay, what you do is, as you saw, you preview, preview it first, and then you have to hit record a second time. Let's go back and do that again. I'm sorry, it's been a while since I did it, so uh, that's how I miss that. We're going to try and record the second one. That one's scheduled to record. I go record. We review this. And then I have to hit the record button again. And now you can see there. Those two are scheduled to record. And what they'll do is uh, appear under recordings later. And I can view. These are all that I have recorded.